The Community Creative Center is back to, with us today to talk about how you can join them and pick up a new skill in the new year. Welcome back, Bryce. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Of hey. course. Yeah, so for our viewers might not be familiar, remind us, what is the Community Creative Center? So we're an arts education nonprofit. We offer affordable arts education to the community here in Northwest Arkansas. We have adult classes, kids classes, classes for seniors, veterans, year-round. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. You specialize in pottery. Am I, am I, I right about that? I do. Okay, so you brought kind of like, I don't know if we want to call it the, the life cycle of a, of a mug. That's a great way to explain <laughs> it, yeah. This is this is all the way through. Okay, yeah. so what do you start with over there? That's clay. This is just a lump of clay, so this is one of the things you could learn um, in our upcoming classes this year is, is to take raw clay, which is, is sort of soft and mushy, yeah. Um, and I think everyone's kind of used Play-Doh at some point. You may have used right. clay. Mm -hmm. The difference being that Ooh, yeah. um, you would take this clay and spin it on the wheel or, or sculpt something out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes through a firing process. So the first firing um, is called a bisque firing. And it's kind of a mid-range temperature. And it comes out like this. And it's a little pingy. Yeah. Um, okay. And it's not quite watertight. It won't okay. quite hold water, right? Mm. Um, so then we're going to put the glaze on at this stage, and we're going to fire it again. So it actually undergoes two firings. I, I always was curious mm -hmm. about that. The glaze, is that just something that you, like, brush on there? How does you that work? You can brush it on. You can dip it on. So it's basically um, clay and metallic oxides in a suspension. Okay. And so you dip it in. Um, and that's actually the point of the bisque, where is the glaze sticks to that. Okay. Mm. And then you fire it again at a higher temperature, and it comes out... As Look at that. That's a beautiful, not not quite as pingy shiny. as you described it. Right. 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 Yes. And but watertight. Yes, watertight. So you can start, you know, having your coffee or whatever food you're safe. drinking in there. Yeah, yeah. Exactly food safe. Right. Right. That's a great food way to safe. put it. Um, you teach these classes all the time there. Yeah. Year round, we have six week classes. Um, we have weekend workshops um, in pottery, painting, drawing, leather working, metal sand Whoa. casting. A new addition this year is sewing. We okay. just uh, purchased some sewing machines. Oh. So we're offering sewing and quilting classes. I need that skill. Yeah, super fun. And I've done it as team building. Oh, we have a ton like of team building stuff. parties. Yeah, absolutely. Co uh, we've made coffee mugs and and different things. <laughs> you. I mean, a snowman. I mean, I mean this is the honestly, start. honestly, I'm just like, this is what I've done. <laughs> yes. And no. you have made an art I just, and craft I mean, project. it's just three three balls, three it, okay. spheres. Well, anyway, <laughs> I, I it, it's really fun to figure out how um, to, you know, to, to learn something new and make, like, a, put a handle on a mug. Right. Yeah, a great skill to pick in, up in you know, 2024. But then there are plenty of people who are very skilled and, like, throw pottery well, you know, we wheel. say um, all you really need is a good attitude and a willingness to jump in. Um, it's We set the barrier to entry very low, so we, we provide all the supplies and materials with the cost of tuition. So all you have to do is show up, be ready to make art, and classes start on January 8th. Okay. Uh, we have classes year-round, but our next six-week session will be starting January 8th. And you offer several different, it's not just pottery, but it's oh, several no, other we things. We have painting, drawing, sewing, printmaking. Uh, a full range of art classes right. for adults, kids, seniors, and veterans. Okay, so you're a creative and you're an artist. If you were to pick up a new skill in mm. 2024, which of these classes would you choose to, to, to take? I, w I would really like to take the sewing class. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that would be fun. Yes. Yeah, same. What about you? Do you have one that yes. you pick? I don't know, maybe pottery. I mean, I, I've tried this a few times. We've gone out and done some segments, and I'm always just really bad. Yeah. So um, putting it on the wheel, you know, there's something fun about that. But like, you want to do the ghost scene. Right, I want to do the ghost scene. <laughs> but once that novelty wears off, once that novelty wears off, it's like, what do I do now? You know, right. and I think that's why I need a professional like yourself or somebody at CCC to show me what the next yeah. steps are. And, you know, if you're just starting out uh, or you've got a little bit of experience, we have wheel one, wheel two, oh. wheel three. So we have all levels um, in most of our classes. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us and filling us in on all of those great opportunities for folks to get involved with CCC coming up in 2024.